Uh, welcome to a new video and this is a special video because we want to check out a hardware gimbal against a software gimbal. The Zenfone 9 using a 6x hardware gimbal against the LG Wing using a software gimbal. Which one is better for videos, especially stable videos? Let's get started and let's find out. So this is now the Zenfone 9 and it's hyper stabilization 1080p 30 frames per second only and how stable is it especially if I walk a little bit faster here uh, I think it should be very fast autofocus might be an issue here but uh, we have to see how good is the Zenfone 9 even if I run a little bit you can see how stabilized this lens really is or not so and now we are using the LG gimbal mode. This one doesn't have any focus so it cannot focus hunt or anything and uh, this is when I'm walking normally here and uh, a little bit faster maybe and let's try to run to see how good it stabilizes here against the Zenfone 9. So what do you think about this one here in terms of stabilization in comparison to the Zenfone 9? Which one is better software or hardware? So one important uh, difference is how you hold the phone in your hand with the gimbal stabilization mode. And uh, if I go to video mode, you can see this is now the gimbal stabilization. I have the high stabilization, hyper steady, active here on this one. And this is how I hold it in my hand. As the Zenfone 9 is very compact, it's not a hard task to do. Let's check out the LG Wing. As the LG Wing is a very, very large device, this is how you hold it for gimbal mode. It has this T-shaped secondary display that is very, very handy and helpful. You can have a joystick here to move this virtual gimbal around the sensor, which is pretty nice. So you can hold it like this and still film yeah, relatively stable forward, which is pretty cool. Let's check this out, how it looks like when I'm filming, not myself, but yeah, some landscape. So this is now the gimbal mode of the LG Wing and I'm holding it steadily, uh, first person view enabled and what I can do is a slow pan for example and this is how it reacts to the pan, the quicker pan here and I can go back as well. I can clearly see on the screen how yeah, slowly it is reacting. Going a little bit faster here and now let's try to run with it to see how stable it can take this shot. And you can see probably the bikes passing by here and their light was a bit shaky here because it's an electronic image stabilization but nevertheless it's one hell of a good stabilization though only 1080p 30 frames per second. And now this is the Zenfone 9's uh, standard stabilization filming something here and you can see that it looks already a little bit more stable and it doesn't have so much of artificial uh, yeah, noises going on. If I pan slowly this is how it looks like. You can see very, very smooth. No issues with this one here. And the same goes back and it's almost instantaneous. So I don't have this lag that I had uh, with the LG Wing. So if I run, or oh, if I just walk a little bit faster here, this is how good the stabilization is working. And then let's try to run to see how this is holding up. Running the same pace as with the LG Wing to see how stable it can be. And yeah, uh, no lights required, I think. Uh, I think the Zenfone 9's hardware stabilization is a tad better. Nevertheless, you have to keep in mind that I think the LG Wing is now two years old. So uh, yeah, it's a bit of a difference there. So what do you think about those men here? 